Saturday, Sunday. You only love me on those days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What's what up, everybody? Amber Seven with Nashville Unsigned. We are hanging out on the infamous red couch oh, with the one, the only, Kyle Riddle. Hello, hello. What's what up, man? Just cruising. This couch is really comfy. Yeah, it is. There's this is like some the bounce couch. action. There is some, some bounce, bounce action. action. Some bounce I feel back. like I feel like this is like the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Keep doing that. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like this is like the uh-huh. couch that like you like grew up on that like you have like your side of the couch that so, like yeah. you know, I'm gonna go and sit and on the right like side. Sunk in. It's like sunken, you know, it's like squishier on that uh-huh. part. And yeah, this would be my side if this yeah. couch was in my I, house. I think that is your side. This yeah. is my side. Yeah. I mean I'm here, so that makes I know. sense. Yeah, that so. does make sense. <laughs> awesome. So tell us like you've got new music out. True. New shoes. Hold on, I want you to hold those things in the air like you just don't care. That's it. That's it. That's a ticket. Flexibility. Uh huh. Um, Yeah, so yeah, we released a single last Friday called Money for Tonight. I guess the verses is about all the ways I save money, but then like, I'm like the kind of person, like, even if I had 20 bucks in my bank account, like, I'll spend all week, like, trying to make that 20 bucks or however much it is, and then my friend will be like, yo, Kyle, do you want to go get, like, a drink and, like, some food? And, like, all week I'd saved up my money, and then I'll be like, oh, I guess, I guess I have money for tonight. And I, like, said that to myself, and I was like, I'm going to write a song about how I'm poor, but, like, I always have money for tonight. Yeah, yeah. And so that's kind of how that Dude, song you came. you are notorious. We were actually just talking about this today, how you are, like, the guy with the millennial anthems. Yeah. Like, between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> and money for tonight, we're awesome. like, dude, like... Kyle Reynolds, poster that child for Millennial I wrote, Anthem. I wrote a song called Millennial Thing uh, uh, the other week, so. And I didn't even know so, that. So yeah. we jumped right in. We forgot the world doesn't know how you uh, got to Nashville. So tell us, like, where are you from? What brought yeah, you to Nashville? So Couldn't I was, possibly be music. Yeah. Doubt it. Um, I was born one time. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> And uh, it was it was nuts. It's um, quite the journey. Yeah, I don't really remember it, but um, I was born um, and I grew up in Southern California, mm-hmm. and then I moved here about two and a half or, or a little over two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, before I moved here, I was just kind of writing songs in my room. I didn't really know anything. I started playing music when I was seventeen, and then I ended up doing a record out here with this guy named David Spencer. And then I went on tour with uh, Taylor Matthews that left from here, and then I got introduced to co-writing. And just all this new, and I, I realize like I can't do what I'm doing in Laguna Beach and what I, like in Nashville. So, mm-hmm. or I can't do what I'm doing in Nashville in, in Laguna. And so I actually was hadn't I never touched foot in LA to work on music. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's kind of what brought me here is music, and then just like the people I really fell in love with, just like the culture here and like community and just hanging out with like awesome people it's like okay if you have a grammy that's sick but like are you a nice dude and so like where it's like sick and all bro yeah like but, uh, right on dude like rock on but like are you a nice person don't want to hang out with you and i think this this is a town that runs around just like relationships and um you could be hanging out with someone who has like 10 number ones and they would just be like yo i'm having a barbecue come over yeah and they're they're not like run by their or driven necessarily super by their ego um, yeah for the most part that is a very nice segue into your very unique parties. <laughs> oh, yes. We do have unique parties. Why don't you give uh, our viewers so, a, yeah, a little taste um, of what the Kyle Reynolds we parties are, look like. We're pretty into having themed parties. Um, for my birthday, I had an Aaron Carter themed party <laughs> where every single guy dressed like Aaron Carter and every girl dressed like a piece of candy. <laughs> Not because they are pieces of candy, but because that's the thing. It's like the internet's going to be like, oh my gosh. Uh, um, it's okay. But, yeah, can use a little there's a song called I Want Candy, just so saying. don't fight me. Um, it was really funny. <laughs> just laugh at it. And so, yeah, we did that. We had a business uh, business casual theme party, which was hilarious because, like, if you look at all of our friends in Nashville, like, I've never seen any of them in a suit or, like, dress nice or, like, everyone just, like, wears leather jackets and, like, yeah. tight pants and stuff. And so, um, <laughs> we're like, how funny would it be if we had, like, a business casual theme party? And so, everyone wore like suits and then we had a projector up on like this white wall in our room and we just like typed in like business meeting and we found like a two hour long business meeting and just like put it on and it was only two people like who were like well Jill so are you gonna transfer the money to Topanga like so and it's just this like this like long meeting that like had, we had no idea what was happening and then everyone just like wore suits and then we surprised someone we put up 
uh, like employee of the month and gave some like employee nice. of the month. It was awesome. Way so. to be detailed. Yeah, we we care about you. Our, our theme you definitely do. Um, when we take the funny out of it, you do a great job like pulling the community together, the pop community together. Um, I see it. I know uh, a lot of our alumni that's pop. Um, you're good friends with Ren. Shout out Ren. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I just I love people, and I think like. People are so important, and like I think everyone knows the cool thing about Nashville is everyone knows what it's like to be new. And so I think when I see the new person, and I think a lot of people feel like this, they kind of see themselves when they first moved here. Um, and so I've always just wanted to invite that person, and those are the people like I want to invite to my parties, and that I want to like I'm like, dude, let's hang out, like, um, yeah, just like the person that like I don't know, I just want people to hang out and and, and feel like like loved and like they're welcome. Dude. So. You're a good dude. You're a good dude. Thanks. <laughs> Keep I those can. parties going. We're going to make it a national and sign one soon. Heck yeah. We'll do it. So again. right now you've got, we kind of touched on this a little Friday, Saturday, Sunday had this whole yellow thing yes. going on with it. You guys did a great job branding everything. Thank you. Um, Poppy, again, millennial anthem. And then you've got money for tonight, which you've taken on the mint green color. Yeah. You've got some Bose stuff going on yeah. where you're giving away some <laughs> headphones yes, we are right giving now. Away headphones. And you're just, like, killing it. And side note, uh, did you know you pop up on Famous People's Birthdays on Google? Are you serious? Yeah, I found that today. <laughs> that's hilarious. So you may want to wear that trophy My for a little while, My mom must have okay? submitted that or something. That's, <laughs> that's interesting. Mom's like, oh. I know. You're like, thanks, Mom. My son's on the internet. You know, <laughs> that's hilarious. So if a um, cat showed up. Oh, gosh. In a sombrero. Why is he there? And what is he saying? Um, what is he saying? Is this like a joke? Is there an answer no, to this? Tell us what, what, your creative mind, I know uh, your creative mind. So the mind cat comes up to crazy. me and goes, I'm so, so sorry, I'm not a dog. I did everything I could and I'm ruining lives because I'm a cat and everyone hates me because I'm a stupid cat. <laughs> and I, I wish I could have been a dog, but not, not everyone can be a golden retriever. And I said, I'd go, dude, I'm sorry too. The door's that way. <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> I, I hate cats so much. That was perfect. I didn't even know he hated cats. Yes. Oh, gosh. I hate cats. So, wild segment. W-H-Y-L-D. Wild. Um, wild. Acronym for what have you learned, dude. So, you've been yeah. in the game for a little bit. California, Nashville, ran around with a bunch yeah. of different people. I know you've got some great learning lessons, but what was, like, your um, number one thing? I think one, if an A and R says a song is not great, that doesn't mean it's not great, um, because they're just people that are guessing. And then to kind of trust your trust your crazy, like I think that's what makes people into like that's what makes people seem like unique. And like I think the road is longer, but if you look at like Chance the Rapper, John Belly, and Ben Rector, they're all they're all di like a, they have. I think it was a longer like road, but I think they're gonna have careers forever mm -hmm. because of, because of that. And they're all, like Chance the Rapper, John Belly, and Ben Rector are all very different. Or Andrew McMahon. Like, Andrew McMahon is, is really great, too. He ne didn't necessarily have much number ones, but he has a very long, substantial, like, career. Um, so I think that is great. And then also, um, I think just because you don't look like that person or you can't sing like that um, or maybe you're like, oh, my hooks aren't like that person, I think it's it's very important just to just to trust that um, that you can do it and, like, to not let those things like those or like mental things like kind of take away from your career yeah, and yeah. To, to continue to do what you love. And then with all that said, I think just having people um, surrounded by you that love you for you and not just the songs you write and people that um, whether you have a number one or a number one million, which I'm really good at writing those. Um, <laughs> That are just gonna love you, and that whether you, like you're sitting at like a, a nine to five or sitting going or going to grab your Grammy, that are just gonna love you and be there for you, yeah, and yeah. Um, just want to like cheer you on. Yeah, man, it's all about the people that you surround yourself with, and it, I mean, hot on the in the industry right now is the phrase like mental health. Yeah. And mental health can roll into the taking the A and R's, you know, information and really like beating yourself up over yeah. it or not putting yourself around people that love you totally so you can constantly because it is this yeah. crazy roller coaster no, yeah. of emotions some days are good some days are bad totally. and it's just you like this yeah if you put all your emotions if you depend all your emotions on the music business you're you're gonna be a mess and mental health is very or like taking care of yourself is very underrated in this business and so mm -hmm. that's one thing i've been i've been learning how to take care of myself and you also i mean you've seen with like the chester thing like someone can look like they are doing fine and sometimes they're not and like 
I've been writing a lot of songs kind of about what I've been going through. And I mean, I'm, I'm typically a very happy person, but I've had a crazy like year and a half and yeah. no, like no one would know that, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. so, um, and that kind of just goes back just to love people really well. Yeah. You know? yeah. So. And you do a great job of doing that and a great person for this community. Great millennial music. Thank you. Kyle Reynolds, everyone. Thank you. We out. Hey, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You only love me on those days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What's wrong with the weekday?